Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about Laravel model. Alright, so Laravel is an MVC based framework and in MVC architecture, the first letter M, M stands for model, right? So a model is basically a way of querying data to and from the table in the database, right? So the main thing is the model responsible with the database. Okay, so by model we can fetch a record from the database, we can insert, update, delete, right? So whatever database operation related things we will do using model, right? So here you can see we have a student's table and we will create a model and we will see how model will work, right? So, so Laravel includes allocant and object relation mapping, right? So object relation mapping or ORM you will sometime you hear that ORM what is ORM that is the object relation mapping and uh, it's using the allocant that makes it enjoyable to interact with database right when using allocant each database table has a corresponding model and that is used to interact with the particular table okay and it provides a very easy way to insert update delete fetch from the database right so in Laravel if you check the directory in Laravel, if you just go inside the app, there is a model folder. So all the models actually store into this model folder. Currently, we have one model that is the user model. And by default, when you install or create an application, that time it is uh, added into your application, right? So to create your custom model, we can use the artisan comment. So let's open another tab. So simply write PHP artisan make model and and your model name is suppose I am creating a model the name with student so just enter this a model created successfully so if you just go inside your model folder you can see a new file is added that is student.php this is actually the model and the namespace is app models and it extending the parent model right so it is inheriting concept okay now i want this model will interact with this student's table okay we have not created models with the migration there's a reason we need to mention that we want to use the student's table with this model right so i will discuss about the migration related things in our upcoming video and today i will create a migration but we'll discuss in our upcoming video but here if you want to use the student's table simply let's create a variable that is protected and table okay so here my table name is students okay so just here students okay that means whenever we will query with this model it will fetch record from students table by default now model alone cannot work anything we need to create a controller and from the controller we'll call the model so let's create a controller first so php artisan make controller okay and as my model name is student so let's create a student controller okay so a controller created successfully and if you create a controller it will basically come inside the app http controllers folder so if you just check we can get the student controller okay now i want to use this student model from the student controller how we can use this so we need to register this model inside this controller so simply let's use app slash models here just use that things and the name of the model is student model so this is a class name okay and let's paste it that means now student controller can understand there is a student model and we can operation or we can use this student model inside this student controller okay simple now let's create a function so let's create public function and suppose i'm going to create an index function and i want to get all records from this student's table right so how we can do this simply just create a variable students and i want to use this student model to get the record so this is the allocant query so simply we can write all 
okay by this all we can get all the records from this table as we are using this student model and student model using students table that the reason it will fetch a record from the students table okay so just simply return the record okay return dollar students okay in the controller part is done now i need to call this function so how to call this so just go to the web.php and let's create a route so inside the routes we will get web.php and let's register the student controller into the web.php so that web.php will understand there is some controller and the name of that controller is student controller so we need to mention that things okay now student controller is registered into web.php so that we can use student controller to create route so simply use route and i will enter the record i will hit the url to get the record so simply just use the get url and let's use student okay or student list whatever what we will create you will use that right and now just uh, mention the controller name student controller class and which function i want to call so my function name is index so just write here index all are done now if you just go to the student so simply just go this link you will get the record from the model right so this is the record we are using the json formatted record so there is a record about 0 1 2 3 4 5 means 0 to 5 means total 6 records so we have six records okay that's simple now you can understand how to get record from the model right easy now let's do something which is actually required means i don't want to get all the records i want to get only uh, two records or suppose i want to get uh, the records which id is one so how are we going to do this simply just go to the student controller and we are using the student model and i want to find the record which id is one means only one record will insert or only one record will display whose id is one right so now just go here and refresh so we are getting only the john which id is one suppose if i want to get the record for michael then simply we can write five so it will actually return the output with 5 means we will get the result for id 5 ok that is the allocant function laravel proof hiding and we are using the all now if i use the get also then we will get also all the records all right so this is the another way and suppose there is a record and some status is 1 some are 0 now if i want to get the records where the id is or status is one right only that result i want to get so how we can do this simply we'll get and we need to add additional clause i want to add a where clause and inside where we can mention where id equal to one so simply just write id or oh, sorry not id and status status equal to one status and just add one right so just check we are getting only four records zero to three four records so if you check only we are getting the four records and similarly if i just use zero that means only inactive record will appear that is only status zero right so two records so there is two records so this is the where loss right now if i want to order these things we can do that easily so if i want to order with a name so how can I do this so let's make it one and suppose uh, just use the order by column right so this is the another things so simply write order by okay i want to order by my records by name okay and the record will appear accordingly uh, ascending order right so simply use ascending now if i just uh, refresh this we are getting the alex is first then david then john then lisa right so it's actually ordering by the name with ascending order and if i want to order with descending order simply write descending so it will change the order this first will come lisa john and if you check alex is last 
all right so these are great now another thing if i want to get only the name or only the email then how we can do this so if i just want to use in this way suppose let's you select and here just write i want to fetch only name so just to refresh this we are getting only name and along with that if i want only email sorry name and email so in this way you can write with a comma separated value so if i just use the id here then only id name and email will get right so in this way it's actually working so you, you can understand what i'm going to show you right now if i want to see all the name with comma separated value or all the name in a same place like so simply just use the plug and simply use name okay and let's use this so we are getting all the name right so john david mark lisa all are appearing right so only the name is appear we are not getting array actually when we use the select and get so let's use select and let's use get you can un understand the difference so if you use that things you will get these things inside one array so simply if you just use the plug you will get direct value of the name okay so simply write plug and you will get the direct value okay so this is the difference and you can use this now simply if i just uh, going to use any aggregate function then we can use this so simply if i just write uh, student count then how many students are there so if you refresh this we are getting six that means we have six records if i want to uh, uh, want to average the age so simply write a b g uh, sorry just remove the count and let's use a b g of age so simply use that average of age then you can use that is you can get 15.66 right so this is actually averaging the record in this way if i want a maximum age then write max age so the max age is 19 so if you check there is 19 is the max if i check minimum then we'll get 12 so just uh, write minimum we'll get this minimum that is 12 so in this way we can uh, use the aggregate function so if we just use sum we can use sum that is the total of uh, all the students age right we'll get all these things right now i want to show you another important thing so right uh, sometimes you may have confusion with the group by right so i want to use the group by with this student allocant right simply just use the uh, student model and let's use select and inside select we will uh, pass something so right so we'll do later and first we'll use the gate okay this type of so up to this is clear and inside select what we actually select again we will uh, write student and i will write a raw query uh, that is uh, count star and uh, i want to set the alias is also suppose uh, student count i want to count actually uh, student of each group means how many is active or how many is not active so we will group by with the status right so simply write status and sorry uh, this will uh, this will close uh, here okay and now just write the group by so here use group by by which so we'll group by by status so simply write status sorry status okay now if you check sorry something error i think so what is the error sorry we need to use this arrow okay great now just refresh we'll get the student count is 4 
for status 1 and student count is 2 for 0 so that we can use the group by also right we are using allocant and also inside this allocant we can write our rock value also so this is flexible right so this is all about the model concept and i tried to show you a select query with different different clause but this table was created manually from the php my admin right but laravel provides migration feature to create or alter the table manually right now if i want to create a model and with a migration file then we can migrate that table so we'll discuss about that things in our upcoming video but i am showing you suppose if i just go here php artisan make model suppose i want to create a student model sorry already student created and to create a employee model as well as i want to create the migration of that model we can simply write minus m so actually minus m will create a migration file so if i just uh, go here uh, inside the database there is a migration folder already you can see there is four migration when we just created my application now if i run this actually model created and a created migration right now check here we can see a create employee table also created okay so basically this will create employees table as a employee is created as a model so the class name is employee and the plural form of this model is employees so it will automatically create a employees table and you can configure these things and you can create your columns uh, as per your choice or as per your requirement right so we'll discuss about these things or we'll discuss about the laravel migration in detail in our next video if you have any queries about this model concept please comment in a below comment section and we'll come with laravel migration topic in our upcoming video so thanks for watching this video have a good day bye